Hey everyone, my name is Spencer Bauke from PH Data, and in this video, I'm going to show you a few different ways for navigating your Power BI reports. The three ways I'm going to show you are page navigation, bookmarks, and drill throughs. So first, let's look at the report that we want to navigate through. This report is pretty simple. It's two tabs, an executive summary tab and a revenue tab. So let's get started on building our first method of navigation. And that is a page navigation action. So first, let's insert the button, shape, or image that we want to use to navigate to our next page. And in this case, we're going to choose a button. And I'm going to use this arrow to signify our navigation to the next page. For the sake of our example, I'm going to put a text on it that says page navigation. This will help remind us that this is our page navigation method of moving between pages instead of the other two that we're going to cover later. So now that we've clicked on our page navigation button, let's go to our actions and we can turn on our actions and drop down. And now we have different types of actions that we can choose from. When we click down, we can see that we have a page navigation action here available. And that's exactly what we're going to click on. Now we need to click the destination. Well, in our example, we only have one other tab, but if you had a report with multiple tabs, you would see them all show up in a drop down here. So now in this list, I'm going to pick revenue. So when I click off, I'm going to click on the page navigation button. And just as a reminder that when you're in Power BI desktop, you need to control and click to use actions. Whereas in Power BI service, you will be able to just do it on one click. So let's control and click. And you can see that in our revenues page, we are now here at our next page. So to go back, we can either create a button that says, or that has a back action, or we can just create another page navigation that'll take us back to where we wanted to go. So let's make sure that we know that this is page navigation. And that title might be a little big for what we're trying to do. So let's put this here. And then we're going to do the same thing and assign an action. And instead of back, which will take you to the page that you just left, which can be useful in other applications, we're simply going to use page navigation and navigate to our executive summary page. Now that that is done, let's move on to our next method, bookmarks. We're going to copy and paste our previous button. And instead of this being the page navigation, we're going to make this our bookmarks style of navigation. In order to use bookmarks to navigate between two pages, we're going to first create two bookmarks. So if you haven't created those before, make sure you go to your view ribbon and open the bookmarks pane. And now we're going to add two new bookmarks to the ones that we have here already. I'm going to name my first bookmark, go to revenue. And name my second one, go to summary. Now these bookmarks are going to allow us to jump from one page to another because we're going to set the bookmark at one page or the other. So when it says go to summary, all we're going to do is we're going to right click since we're already on the summary page and we're going to click update. Let's go to our revenue page and let's update our go to revenue bookmark. Now what we do is we need to assign our buttons that we have on our report canvas the proper bookmarks. So let's click our actions. Oh, let me fix the title first. And this is our bookmarks. 
And now instead of picking the page navigation under our type, we're going to select bookmark. And now you can see a list of the bookmarks in our dropdown. Because we want to go back to the summary page, we want to go down and click the go to summary. And now what we need to do is go and control and click on our bookmarks. And now we are back at our executive summary page. Now let's do the same thing for our button on this tab. So selecting bookmark instead of page navigation and selecting the go to revenue because that's where we want to go as our proper bookmark. And now we can go and we can test out that functionality. Now that we've completed our first two methods of page navigation using our page navigation actions and our bookmarks, our last method is a drill through. Now drill throughs are a slight bit more complicated than the previous two, but I'll show you a good step-by-step -step method on how to use them here. Drill throughs allow you to go from one grain of data to another grain of data, often between two different tabs in your report that create specific views for the grain of data that you're looking at. So in this instance, we have revenues shown by conference. In our revenues page, we have a list of schools by revenue. These schools all belong to a conference, but they are broken out at a different grain on each tab. What our drill through will allow us to do is drill through from our first page, selecting one of these conferences to the second page, revenues, and just contain the schools that are in the conference we chose on the summary page. So in order to do this, we need to go to our data and we need to choose the field that we want to be able to drill down into on the first tab. So in this case, we're going to be drilling into conference to then see the schools in that conference. So let's go to our data and let's choose conference and let's drag that to the drill through field. And you can see that at the very bottom here, it says add drill through fields here. And we're going to drop that in and you can see right now nothing is chosen. That will change when we select the value on the first tab. It's also worth noting that when you drop a drill through in that you automatically will get a back button in the corner of your report. We're actually going to utilize this and we're just going to call this our drill through button. So now when you go to this drill through button that's automatically created, you can see the action type selected is back. Next, we need to insert a button for our drill throughs. So we're going to copy and paste our previous button. But this time in our actions, we are going to assign this the drill through action, the destination being revenue because that is the tab that we just enabled for drill through. Now we can click on a conference and now you can see that the bookmarks image is not grayed out anymore. Let me show you that one more time. If we click off and have all selected, there is no ability to drill through on this button because we have not selected a value yet. If we click in this case, SEC, you can now see that the image is able to be drilled through on. So now if you come down here, hold click and click bookmarks, or it should say drill through. Now you are looking at a page of revenues where there are only the schools from the SEC shown in this view. We can click back and then we can do the same thing. Let me rename this really quick to cut out on confusion. And one last example, if we want to go to Big Ten, we can click on this and then we can control and click on our drill through. And now we are just seeing the revenues for the schools within the Big Ten. So that's the last method of navigating between pages. We really hope that you found this video helpful. If you're looking for more great Power BI content, feel free to visit our blog and YouTube channel and thanks for watching this video.